Alistair's done it again. Welcome back everyone. I wanted to do a quick video on everything new in the new plate up update. This is for autumn or I guess turkey day or friendsgiving. I don't know what people call that anymore. Um, but first thing I'm going to be going through is all of the mains and then we're going to be going through some of the new vanity stuff, the new decorations. There's a bunch of stuff all over but there are a lot of new recipes so we're going to be going through that first. Okay, so the big thing this update was turkey. Turkey being added as a new main. But if you're in the hub, you won't actually see turkey available to grab. You'll see pies, you'll see burgers and stuff like that. But turkey isn't actually one to be grabbed. But if you go onto an autumn map, you may have the opportunity to see it. It'll pop up and you can grab that. And now you have to serve whatever you took, like pies or, or whatever. And also turkey on top of that. Another new main is Nut Roast, and those are the two new mains, but the only way to get them is by playing on the autumn map and then getting it as a selection. So you really gotta hunt for it. Turkey's pretty basic. All you have to do is grab a turkey from this freezer here, throw it in the oven, cook it for a good while. It's turkey, it takes a while. And then when it pops out, you get four slices from it. You're gonna have to keep constantly cooking these, um, but at the end of the day, it's just essentially a pretty easy pizza or gameplay mechanics wise at least. Up next is the nut roast that I mentioned, the new main as well. This is pretty simple. It requires nuts, chopped onions, throw that in the oven for a good while. And from this, you get three slices. They've not just introduced mains, but they've introduced a bunch of other stuff. Let's start with the new starters. They've added a bread board. And what this requires essentially is just, you gotta make a loaf of bread and then you get these boards that used to be cheese boards. Now they're multi-purpose boards and put two slices on there and boom, done. These only serve one customers. They are not similar to the cheese board where they can serve several customers. So yeah, two slices, but one customer. And it wouldn't be plate up without another soup. Broccoli cheddar soup is a new starter. So this is pretty basic. Just like all soups, you grab an onion, you put it in a pot, you fill it up with water, you cook it, add cheese, you add the broccoli, you cook it again, and bam, easy. Broccoli cheese soup. Let's go over the new sides as well. There's a new side, and I think this is Bryony's favorite. Roast potato. You grab a potato, you throw it in the oven or a hob, and it's done. Probably the easiest one. It's, it's essentially chips, except you don't need to chop it. <laughs> I don't think it takes too long to cook either. So pretty basic. Um, I'm a big fan of this one. <laughs> Something simple. Up next, we got a dessert, and I'm having troubles pronouncing this one, but I think it's pronounced avocado. Not to be confused with an avocado. And this is a dessert. It's essentially coffee and vanilla ice cream. Put them into one, bam, done. I think you actually need to unlock coffee and ice cream to get this, or maybe it's just coffee. I'm not 100% sure, but pretty interesting. I, I personally probably would order this. And last but not least, it wouldn't be a plate up update without another pie. Cherry pie. Pretty simple, make a pie, cook the pie, throw the cherries in, bosh, send it out. Okay, so that is all the recipes. Got some mains, got some sides, got some starters, got some desserts. Alistair has gone through the whole list and I'm, I'm pretty happy with this, especially with the new map that adds, you know, you're essentially just padding out a bunch of uh, new things to your restaurant, adding challenging things and simple things and things that might work with your existing infrastructure like pies and soups kind of benefit quite a lot and it should lead to some very interesting runs. Up next though, we're going to be talking vanity. There are a bunch of new vanity hats that you can wear. And if you play on the awesome map, you'll be seeing the customers come on in with these exact vanities. What you can get now is the pink winter hat that comes in blue as well, orange, green, and let's not forget the beautiful turkey hat. We've got no new appliances in this update, but what we do have are new wallpapers. Um, we've got a green tree like wallpaper. We've got an orange leaf wallpaper. And my personal favorite is this turkey wallpaper. Look at that boy, it's beautiful. There's been a bunch of quality of life updates and kind of smaller updates here and there. I'll be going through just a couple. First of all is my personal favorite is seed control. So you know when you're playing on like one of your favorite map layouts like blog, it's a good layout, but the blueprints are all predictable. The cards that pop up, you know, getting your cheese board, getting your, all this stuff, it's all predictable because it's all part of the seed. And it kind of gets boring playing on the same, even if you like the layout, it gets boring playing on the same maps because it's all predictable. 
Well, now you can change that setting and it's all random now. So you can load into blog or whatever map you like the layout of. And now you'll be getting random cards. You'll be getting random blueprints. And, you know, I think for replayability, I think that's really important. Of course, some people are still going to enjoy, you know, the reliability of having certain blueprints that they want. But personally, I really like this change. Also, dishwasher has been buffed now. Instead of taking 15 seconds, it only takes 10 seconds to wash those dishes. And instead of costing, what was it, 100, 120? It now costs 60. So really affordable and actually like maybe worth it now. It was really popular when the game first came out, but it fell out of fashion super fast. Steak has now been updated. Before, the mushroom slices and the tomato slices and the sauces, they did not have any lettering, only the steaks themselves did. But now, everything has a lettering. So, when you hold a steak with everything on, it looks a bit jumbled, but honestly, even if it's jumbled, it still helps out me a lot. Because, you know, some of like the mushrooms blend in with a raw steak and the tomatoes blend in with the mediums. It gets really confusing really fast, but I'm a big fan of this change. Extra lives now reset all patients throughout the restaurant. This is a big change because if you had an extra life in your restaurant and a customer outside got upset, it would immediately just follow on to the next customer and they would also be upset. So you'd just instantly lose. So super important. You can now ping blueprint cabinets to see what's inside. No more leaning really close to your monitor. You can cycle backwards and forwards when choosing your outfits, which is really handy if you accidentally go past an outfit. But this is still not possible with the colors. Alistair! Daily and weekly seeds are now always the largest map size. I'm going to be honest, I think Alistair did this because it kept selecting dining maps, which are the most common, just out of pure randomness. <laughs> Poor Alistair. Um, but this is this is good. Um, honestly, finding a, a good, reliable, large map is something that's dreamed of by many. There's only a couple big maps like Blog that, you know, really have the room. So seeing a couple of these random maps cycle through, you might find a new one you love. The franchise finish screen has now been updated. So if you have a bunch of cards you're choosing from, it's no longer going to clip off screen. It's going to wrap around and it's going to look all nicely for you. Those are all the misc updates I'm going to be going through. There are a bunch more that you can check out. In the description, there's a big patch notes of all the information that, you know, you may want to know about. But some of them are very minor and I've pretty much covered everything you really need to know. But yeah, if you want to take another peep, there is the description. Grab a look. Last but not least, though, this new update adds five new music tracks. And these have all been made by the amazing Sam Gibbs that's been working on the music since Play Up has been released. And you've been probably hearing them throughout this video. Here is a little sample of each of the new tracks, all five of them. I don't think they have names, so I'm just going to call them track five, six or whatever. But here's a little listen to them. Okay, I hope you enjoyed that. Um, I think the music is fantastic. Honestly, Sam does a brilliant job. Anyway, thank you very much for watching, everyone. This has been everything in the new update. I hope you guys enjoy these videos. I really like doing them because, you know, I just like to visually show everything. You know, reading the patch notes is one thing, but, you know, visually seeing some of these recipes, it's just really fun and, and everything else that goes along with it that you may have missed. Thank you very much, guys. I really appreciate it. Um, if you really enjoyed it, make sure you subscribe, make sure you like, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. We've been doing a lot of played up stuff recently. So, you know, keep your peepers peeled. But yeah, thank you very much, everyone. I'll see you later. Bye-bye.